evening and then you realize how very much he loves you. It becomes so easy to love him in return. My name is Dina Balanje and this is my story. I was the only child of my parents, Octave and Serofia Balanje. I once had a little brother, but he died when he was just three months old. We lived in a cubic and I grew up very happily then, where both Mama and Papa dotted on me. I knew I was very pretty. The mirrors in our home told me so. And I was quite talented too. I loved my music and I was good enough to become a concert pianist. The world offered me a lot. Adulation, wealth, fame. But thanks to my mama who taught me about the love of God from my cradle, I knew I wanted something more, much, much more. Eventually, I joined the congregation of the religious of Jesus and Mary in Sydney, Canada. But my greater delight was meeting Jesus. Yes, the Lord Himself, the best friend one could ever hope for. I could spend hours in the convent chapel with the blessed sacrament and just listen to him. Because of the sicknesses that I suffered, I could do only little things. But throughout my life, here even after I became very ill, to the point of death. I could feel the rapture of his presence. I was gifted 32 years filled with his love. So how can you become a saint? Well, as I said, whether your life is long or short, just be yourself. Listen to the Lord and let Him guide you to your true vocation. Do small things with great love for Him. You will find His voice in the scriptures guiding you. He tells you, don't judge. Help someone in distress. Be kind to strangers. Accept the crosses you sometimes have to wear. And most important, let him become your truest friend. Thank you.